Hey guys, Rob Mitchell here. Thanks for joining me for this video on Smart Trap Trader Oscillator Lead Out Day Trading Pattern Secrets. Now I'm going to show you some a really cool pattern, one of the many that there are for the Trap Trader Oscillator, and uh, kind of take you into a land where uh, you can get some good ideas for developing your own systems and strategies. Yep, yeah. um, this uh, system is grounded in order flow momentum concepts in multiple dimensions. Yeah, and we'll cover that. First off, past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results or the risk of loss trading futures. Don't use the grocery money for trading. You know. uh, Smart Trap Trader lead out day trading pattern secrets. The methods that I show in these videos are intended to show you various ways you could establish components or concepts that can lead to a successful day trading system or strategy and for these examples, I use tools that I use every day and that I develop for my own personal use that I happen also to share. These indicators were not developed to sell. They were developed to solve problems in trading for myself. Yeah. And then I have shared them. Yeah. And I share some of the methods that I uh, use uh, with them. Yeah. So the Trap Trader Oscillator Advanced from Indicator Smart is an amazing order flow solution that makes trading order flow more efficient in many ways. A lot of traditional order flow solutions show all kinds of numbers all over the screen. Um, nobody can really make any sense out of that, or if you can, kudos to you. Uh, but the idea here is um, to reduce the order flow to simple geometries that's easy to see and understand. Yeah, the Trap Trader Oscillator is constructed by proprietary order flow computations and presenting them simply as an oscillator. Yeah. It's in its fifth generation of development. And we put a huge amount of resources into this, many, many years in development. Yeah. It uh, is bid ask and tick capable. It also uses pressure readings, order flow pressure readings. So there are many different kinds of order flow themes and variations that you can do within the oscillator itself. In other words, it's multiple order flow products all in the same thing. Yeah, It has many variations of plots and calculations for those who wish to take it to another level. And the default settings work great. In fact, for this video, I'm using default settings. Yeah. So we have used uh, market mapping to find patterns that are known to work well in various contexts. We use uh, trade markers, for example, to establish some basic baseline statistics. And we'll look at an example of that. Yeah. Uh, in a minute. Yeah. So there's over 40 order flow patterns in the manual. Yeah. I think over 40 of them um, and many more that we've developed over the years. Uh, I'll also give you a resource for uh, uh, for uh, finding some of those patterns. Yeah, uh, it can plot live. It can plot intra bar. It can plot on bar close. It also works with custom bar types. You know, custom price bar types. I've done uh, videos in the series also on that. Yeah, on that exact subject. It has outputs for easy coding in Shark indicators, Bloodhound, and Blackbird, etc. Yeah. A lot of times it could be really complicated you, to um, uh, code something and we uh, put some outputs in there that can facilitate uh, easy coding. Uh, it has smart breakpoints built into it. That's an indicator from Indicator Smart. Uh, it's lightning fast. And I mean lightning. Yeah. It can operate in tick replay bid ask mode of operation. In addition to ticks, it's capable of plotting intra bar. You'll see the images below. Um, in the legacy line mode, uh, it also features pressure mode that opens the door. I think I'm not showing the uh, pressure mode on the video because I wanted it to be super clear here. So I'm just using a traditional uh, trap trader oscillator for uh, for this video. Yeah. Uh, further, we've added two new advanced uh, modes of operation in version 15, unbounded and bounded normalized, effectively triple uh, tripling the capabilities of the tool. You know, there are also uh, four different modes. So between the bounded, unbounded, uh, and the various modes of operation, there are a huge number of different indicators and possibilities built into this indicator uh, for your order flow analysis. 
all your favorite trap trader oscillator patterns can apply to these in the same way as the original patterns and many more. So if you're just getting acquainted with the trap trader oscillator, then learn some of the patterns and the resources below as already mentioned. And it's usually best to trade what you see and then return and then return to the manual. Yeah. For a reread where new methods will often be revealed in time. In other words, we learn in the spaces. Yeah. We learn in the spaces. And so expose yourself to an idea and then you come back and revisit later. And so uh, many who will be watching this video go, oh, I didn't know that. Well, I've been probably uh, with uh, lead outs. And that's the purpose of these videos is to show you things that you can do to make better trading systems. Yeah. For more information, including links to articles and trading patterns, look at the Trap Trader Oscillator and others. Uh, at Indicator Smart. So you go find the Trap Trader Oscillator. I think it's uh, in the new category. Yeah, if you uh, go to Indicator Smart and go to the new category, you can find the Trap Trader Oscillator in there. And then there's links there to articles, uh, an article with the trading patterns and et cetera. Yeah. So take advantage of that. Uh, following, we're going to uh, look at a uh, chart. That chart has on it the following tools, Smart Super Renko Price Bars. Yeah, the Smart Trap Trader Oscillator that we've been talking about, the Smart Momentum. Uh, we've done many videos on the Smart Momentum. Smart Breakpoints we're going to use on the Smart Momentum so we can see the turns and the Smart Price Bands so that we can use that for trend analysis yeah, for the trend. Uh, these tools are part of the Smart Patterns Trading System Ultra Pack and above at indicatorsmart.com. The chart also has Smart Trade Markers for performance slash stat determination and or mapping. Uh, you can also call that a form of mapping uh, when you establish baseline statistics for a certain pattern. You know, the trap trader oscillator is not only capable of identifying order flow traps, but also order flow momentum patterns as I've already discussed early in this video, right? So the trap trader oscillator lead out that we're discussing today is such a order flow momentum pattern. The lead out is a going with kind of a pattern. Now, in other words, the price and the momentum will be going together you know, on the second part of the pattern. And we'll look at uh, how that works on a, a screenshot here in a second. It tends to show where the order flow is contextually pulling. This concept of pulling is super important. I've talked about it in many prior videos. Uh, when uh, an indicator is pulling, when a order flow, a properly designed order flow indicator is pulling, you can read divergence in a way that I will show you on the chart in a minute. Uh, another word that I could use for that is leading. It is leading. An order flow tends to lead price. It tends to. Why? Because it takes orders to drive the price. And so when they're pushing extremes at a boundary, yeah, the probability for follow through goes much higher, you know, very high. Yeah. It's just a pretty simple concept, but you got to do it the right way. This video is to show you some ways to do that. Yeah. So settings and rules here. Yeah. So trade the trend going with the smart price bands. As uh, uh, got the smart price bands in VWAP mode. Use your own settings. Please don't. Um, send me a bunch of emails and ask me, well, what's the exact setting? Uh, the one that you like you know, is the best one. Um, if you do not have this feature and want it on the smart price bands, yeah, if you already have the smart price bands, uh, benefit by upgrading. You know, use the upgrades page at Indicator Smart. Uh, Trap Trader Oscillator is in default traditional mode, as already discussed. Smart momentum is in the default settings, plotting as a line with the smart breakpoints applied so we can see the turns in the oscillator. Now we're gonna trade with the turns in the oscillator or with the smart breakpoints applied with the dots. You're gonna get a dot with the trend on the smart price bands and then the trap trader oscillator lead out is gonna show us the way. Yeah. So we're gonna trade lead outs with the trend both uh, bands of the smart price band are the same color and with smart momentum dot, yeah, or the slope or the dot on the second bar. 
specifically the second bar. That's a pattern classification. I did a video on pattern classifications a couple days ago. Yeah, second bar specific pattern classification following a turn or a pivot, yeah, if you will, with the trend immediately, the next lead out following a turn in the smart momentum. Yeah. Pretty simple. Now we'll take a look at this. So this is basically what a lead out looks like. Yeah. If the price is going up, yeah, you're going to see the lead out. You're going to see the trap trader oscillator leading out or, and going with. Now the market's going down, you're going to see it leading out, going with. Yeah. That's the basic pattern. Uh, notice that this is higher here and this is lower here. So that makes it um, going with in multiple directions. Yeah. A lead out leads, in other words, in two dimensions, before and then after. Yeah. So for an up direction, it's higher, low, and higher high, or for a lower, low, and lower high going down. Yeah. Preferably while well, the market is still inside, although I did not filter that for this presentation. That's another um, consideration that you could have if you wanted to. If you were trying to design a trading system, I don't consider these things as trading systems. A lot of people see these videos, they think, oh, that's a trading system. Well, it could be, yeah. But for me, these are just broad stroke, generalized, not super too crazy specific ideas that can lead you to a good system, as I said in the beginning of the video, yeah. It's important that you get that because I'm speaking conceptually, yeah, when I do these videos. Yeah. And it's super important to get that, not uh, just for the reason of being conceptual, but the, uh, the fact of the matter is um, trading systems that are successful have some component within them that's not linear. It's not pure logic uh, in, the, in the logical cause and effect sense. There are multiple inputs that cause it to be successful. Yeah, multiple inputs that each stand on their own. Like, for example, the smart price band that we have on here, that's probably contributing about 20%, 10 to 20% above random. That's about 70%. Yeah, that favors it about 70%. And then the trap trader uh, uh, lead outs itself are probably, you know, 85, 80%, 84%. Yeah. And then uh, the momentum hooking, that's uh, another. Uh, one that's probably upwards of 80 some odd, 80 percent or something like that to follow through. So you take the 70 and the 80 and the 80, yeah, and you start getting something that's pushing up into the 90 percent. Could you have all that and still screw it up? Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. But conceptually, there are three inputs to this equation uh, that I'm showing you this as a trading system. Here. Yeah. So, uh, and that being said, there's even more possibilities. Yeah. And again, those videos are intended to show a specific concept a specific, within a specific pattern classification and how the market behaves there. Why? So it's repeatable. Yeah, so it's repeatable. So there's all kinds of creative themes and variations we could do with this. And at least for my own trading, that's how I approach it. Creatively and with themes and variations and generally with an overall um, uh, idea of what the market's trying to do. Yeah. So again, the settings are not critical, but the concepts are, are important. Yeah. So, okay, here's the chart. Now we've covered the basic shape. The basic shape is A, B, C, D going down. Yeah, and it breaks right there. See, A, B, C, D. It's going with, yeah. And that takes you short with the red smart price bands. Both of them are red. And you've got a dot right there on the smart momentum. Now, I could say, well, I don't want to uh, fire a smart, uh, smart momentum that's uh, dotting that low in the cycle. I'd prefer it if I get it up here, but then not down here. There's all, like I said, there's all kinds of things you could do. Okay. I would start going up over here. Yeah. Start going up over here. And uh, we get the lead out here and the dot right there. Yeah. And if you didn't do that one, you could do this one right here. I didn't mark that one right there. You could have uh, done it right there. And then the, because uh, that smart price band was red on the bottom. Yeah. I actually should have had that a little bit over to the right. Yeah. I could have done it right there. Yeah. 
Uh, what's another theme or variation I could do on this? Well, I've got higher dots on the smart momentum. Could do those, or I could do lower dots. Yeah, you know, uh, pattern. Each one of those being its own pattern classification. Uh, markets moving sideways in here, and then the smart price bands tend to turn back over red, and then I get a lead out over here, uh, following the dot here. Yeah, red dot lead out. Yeah, yeah. red dot lead out. I got one of the counter trend here. That was a lead out right there in a counter trend. Well, if you wanted to, you could make a little scalping system out of something like that if you if you wanted to. But that's a that's another story. The rule that we're working with here is with the trend. There you lead out over here, and um, that one ends up being at the bottom of the cycle. Yeah. Well, market comes up over here, and the smart uh, price bands uh, turn cyan for going up. And I get a lead out right here uh, with the dot right there, you know, and taking it higher. Yeah. And that's the basic uh, pattern, just a simple uh, lead out, order flow lead out based system with the trend. Like I said, if, if you wanted to, and I'm just speaking uh, off the cuff, I haven't done hard science on it, but I do have a long history of knowing these kinds of numbers. This guy contributes about 20% above random, make about 70%. This one, you know, 80, 85, somewhere in there, and the dot's probably around 80%. And when you put those together, you end up with a relatively high uh, percentage for follow through. You know, um, we could have filtered out and not had these, not done the ones that you're firing into the extremes, and you could increase your win percent possibly and things like that. And so, all kinds of themes and variations. Uh, this is the trade marker report for uh, this particular chart. Um, I just ran this for the day. Yeah, you know, trading uh, three lots for 12, 24, and 50 tick uh, targets. I didn't put any uh, additional money management on there. I allowed overlap because I wanted to take into account each of the trades as a setups as a separate uh, opportunity. You may or may not have traded it that way, but that's the way I did the test. And uh, the first one, I just traded one lot. I uh, did a a little over a thousand dollars. The commission's taken out four forty on the commission. Uh, this one I did it. This is done in the Nasdaq. Yeah, you know, ninety six on the first contract, eighty percent on the second one, and fifty six on the third. Uh, a system like this that doesn't use a break even stop or anything like that uh, will have a win loss ratio of roughly around one. I think this one might have been as high as uh, a little bit higher than that, like one point two. Yeah. And so you end up uh, on a one lot basis with a 96 percent, um, a 96 percent win um, number and um, and the uh, well, with uh, with these three contracts, it'd be it'd be worse than that if you were uh, trading just a one lot. Yeah. It would take you longer to recover because the stop is uh, pretty big. This is a NASDAQ, the thing really moves. Uh, so you need to use a pretty uh, good size stop. Why do we use a big stop like that? Because we don't want it to get hit. I've done videos on that too. Yeah, so this is a basic system. Could I have made that smaller? Sure, I could have. Yeah, sure, I could have. I could, could I have made it 35? Sure. Yeah. Would have made these numbers a little bit smaller. Yeah. And the idea here is broad stroke what can this thing do without having a stop interfere with it? I've said it before, I'll say it again. Uh, in all my decades of developing trading systems, I've never seen a stop help a system. And so if I have a system that works well without a stop at all, I certainly wanna have one in there for catastrophic sudden moves where I'm just playing wrong. You know? um, but uh, these are the general statistics for this kind of a pattern. Uh, these and other similar concepts are taught daily, Stock Index Trading Room. Yeah, Steve moderates that over there. Steve is an incredible teacher, in my opinion. Uh, he's got a wonderful, simple uh, way of explaining things. And uh, I moderate the uh, Oil Trading Room. Both of these rooms teach patterns that could be used in any reasonably volatile market. Yeah, You could uh, learn uh, stuff from the Stock Index Trading Room, take it on trade oil or gold or anything with it. Uh, and the same thing with the oil trading room as well. You know? um, some people ask, well, which room should I pick? 
Well, follow your bliss. Yeah. Um, Steve's a little bit more signal oriented. I'm a little bit more theory and system design oriented uh, in my approach. I'm a bit more abstract for some people. It'd be more abstract. Steve's more practical. Yeah. And so uh, whichever uh, uh, you would tend towards, uh, that would probably be, um, probably be the more appropriate choice for you if you were choosing a room. But both rooms are great. Yeah, both rooms are great. And you'll learn a lot. Uh, you can uh, get these tools at indicatorsmart.com you know, via uh, purchase or leasing plans. Uh, there may be special lease opportunities available to trading room members. And if you like these videos, consider joining one of the trading rooms. Some people join both. I don't know how they do that. Uh, getting the indicators or taking advantage of the leasing plans uh, available at indicatorsmart.com. Yeah. Thanks for joining me on this trap trader oscillator lead out patterns, secrets. Yeah. And uh, thank you for joining me on it and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you. Thank you.